Sonia, thank you so much for joining Salah and I today. Uh, we wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, the work that Salah had uh, helped you and Gavin with in regards to the music medicine. And uh, I just have a couple questions. We were hoping that we could run through and ask you uh, if that is okay. Absolutely. <laughs> So um, I know that we had talked before, but I was just wondering if you could share a little bit with us about what uh, Gavin's uh, health condition is, what his diagnosis has been, what you've received from the doctors. Uh, so Gavin was diagnosed with uh, broad spectrum autism uh, at the age of four and three, four. Um, and he was nonverbal. He um, also has a diagnosis, which is kind of, it, it kind of goes in with it, but uh, Tourette's syndrome. Oh, I was unaware of that. Yeah. So Gavin has, he has bouts of Tourette's. And so throughout the years, uh, I've been micromanaging his uh, abilities to be able to uh, cope with those on his own and uh, give him tools to be able to, you know, um, help with the autism because the autism also creates a stemming and jerking. So you kind of don't know whether which one it is, you know, so it's like kind of like just fun, this, like his. <laughs> Yes. Symptoms are yes. like part of both that he would experience. Exactly. Uh, wh what kind of treatments were you or has he been on before? I mean, for, well, first, let me ask, how old is Gavin now? Gavin is 13. 13. So he's been, in a sense, living with this diagnosis for about nine, 10 years. Ten years. Yeah. That's a lot of learning about the about the brain yeah. a lot in that I, uh, I spent a lot of years <laughs> without sleep. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so what kind of treatments did you have him on before all of what we So Gavin's been... never, he's never done any medications. Okay. I, uh, no, no Western medicines um, okay. because I figure uh, it, it was just better for us to not go that route. Uh, Gavin has had speech therapy, occupational therapy, and behavioral therapy. Okay. Um, he had those when he was little, uh, but through my personal uh, diagnosis of understanding, um, because I am certified in health and as a natural health consultant, a nutritionist, um, because of those things, I have uh, delved just delved into, you know, uh, trying to figure out what is the best system for him with herbs and vitamins and nutrients and things like that. And so when I cut him off completely off of dairy and gluten and all these things, uh, he started speaking. Oh, yeah. 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 So my first he nonverbal for, uh, up until five, until five, man say little things yeah little things but he could not express his emotions he couldn't tell you what he wanted he would grunt or squeak okay. and point yeah hmm. have you um did you find any improvements over the treatments that you were using, like the occupational therapy, the behavioral therapy? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I was a parent who chose to sit in at every therapy session. I didn't oh. just drop them off and yeah. go, okay, handle my kid. I was there present learning because I needed to understand how to better his situation at home. Sure. So, yeah. Um, have you used sound therapy before with him? Yes. For, yeah. uh, since he was little. Okay. Um, I had, was gifted by the therapist at, um, at mile markers 
in Havasu, I was gifted a pillow and, and it's a binaural beats pillow. So you plug in to the pillow and it gives sound therapy through the pillow. Oh. And he, yeah, he used that for a while. I also used, um, it's, it's like dry brushing, yeah. but what it does is it overstimulates okay. the body. So that way, because a lot of autistic kids have right. issues right. with touch. So when you enhance the overstimulation and kind of force them into understanding that this is what's going to happen, um, they start to be more comfortable with it. And some do, some don't, but it actually worked wonders with Gavin because this little dry brush was help stimulating his right. lymphatic system. And it was also getting him used to touch. So it wasn't overwhelming and overstimulating. So I would use the sound therapy at the same what time. What kind of results did you have with the sound therapy when you were using it then? He, uh, to be honest you, with and, you, huh? Did you see any, I guess would be a, did you see any results with the sound therapy? I was doing so many things mm -hmm. at once with him. Yeah. With sound, food, supplements like I was going all sure. in so honestly um you which know one did it? <laughs> yeah yeah which, which one because my my major Christmas present when he was five years old was he opened a book and started reading ah. so yeah and I have it on video I was like oh my god I'm crying <laughs> crying bawling sending it to everybody you know um so what I noticed was that I got them off of YouTube and I utilized ones for, um, for autism. Mm -hmm. I noticed that a couple of them were too strong. He would push off the headphones. He was like, no, he did not want to do it. Uh, the other time there was one that we stuck with for a period of years. We've used, we've utilized it for a long time and he would sit with it for a while. And sometimes I would do video and he would sit with it for, you know, I would tell him 15 minutes, 20 minutes and he would do it. But I did not see the results that I okay. saw with what Salah sent me. Ooh, well, let's talk about that. What kind of treatment, <laughs> what kind of treatment yeah. does Salah provide for you? you <laughs> so, um, honestly, I had high hopes when you sent me something. So I was, I was in just pure happiness that you took the, the moment and the opportunity to do something for my son. So thank you. Um, but what, what happened was he sat with it for about 10 minutes and immediately, this was the video that I created was immediately he started doing his math with ease. Now wow. he's spelling with ease by me telling him, Hey, you know, right on, I have a little board where like you could press the button and erase, erases. Yeah. I'm giving him spelling. He's reading clear. He's just, he's a lot more focused. His explanations of things or wanting to do things. That's why I made, I created the video of him making his shake. He does it every morning. I'm like, just go make your own shake. He's, I'm like, he does, uh, we call it Nutella and toast, but it's just vegan hazelnut spread, <laughs> uh, not Nutella, <laughs> but he calls it Tella and toast. And so I tell him, you, you do, do it yourself. You know how to do it. Yeah. So he's all of a sudden it was like this on switch. Since happened. he started wow. using music with wow. Wow. He's the wow. Wow. Yes. It's oh it's it so, so amazing. pleasing with me, actually. Oh, that's wow. Amazing. So it's glad brilliant. to do that. Yeah, and actually the connection between what you're saying and what is the one hundred and eleven hertz is doing yeah. is like technically is just shutting down the left like prefrontal you know, cortex and activating the right one, which is, which is associated with the creativity, you know, That's and the 40 Hertz, the 40 Hertz, which is the gamma yeah. binaural beats we're using, like according That's to Dr. Lee Bartel researches and yeah. study. Yeah, this is perfect. This is perfect. The resonating, try to re-resonating re the gamma waves inside the brain, you know? So it's working on that electromagnetic field actually. So okay. the codes and information 
is moving faster into the right low, you know, and interpret that into more capability to maybe do some math. But we know that the math is associated with the left flow, okay? Which is right. the logic, you know? Right, but logic. all of a sudden, we are having something like perfect here. I love it, you know? He's been drawing a lot also, and his drawings are very strategic and they're, they're adorable. He likes to draw things from Disney and Pixar and all these movies. And so all over the wall in his room, he has all his drawings taped to the wall. And so, this has started since he started listening to yeah, the music. He's, he's always been an artist, but he has been going like, you know, he occupies Focusing, himself more, a more, lot. More, more concentrated. Yes, he's definitely exactly. more concentrated, for sure. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Because awesome. the 40 years, uh, the gamma waves actually, the study for Dr. Liebertel was on the people who are suffering from Alzheimer's. Yes. You know? Yeah. So the study is about enhancing the memory, you know? Yeah. And you more capability to be creative, to use your right low yeah. you know, more. That makes sense. And to make the codes and the information faster. So now you can function faster, yeah. you know? Right. Yeah. And that's yeah. Exactly, exactly what he's doing. He's, he's, he will tell me when he needs a break and he'll take five minutes and he'll take his break and then he'll come back to it. And what I noticed that he's understanding the concepts more. So this is huge. He's, he has echolalia. So echolalia is where he'll just repeat what you say because he'll echo. Yeah. And so now he's understanding concepts. So he's not only just repeating, he's not just repeating, he's actually giving me feedback. And then when it comes to math, he's understanding the concept of addition and subtraction. Sure. So um, he understands, okay, he understands you have to move it away in order to take it away. And this is huge. You have no idea. I've spent years trying to get him to understand the concept. Wow. Because yeah. if this an autistic amazing. child can, if he has echolalia and he doesn't understand the concept of why, what's the point? Right. You know, you have to understand that the why factors. Absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. That's why it's called the autism spectrum disorder, you know, because yes. you have because a huge a range <laughs> of a lot of things. Like we might, we might be an suffering from ADHD and yeah. we don't yeah. know. Like, Absolutely. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With, ex exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So I want to, okay, uh, about the brown noise also. So this is the brown noise, something I use in this thread. Okay. I want to talk about, like, just mention it. Like the brown noise is the sound and the low frequencies that the baby hears in the mother wound. You know? um, yeah. So this is give him or trying to give him like hopefully he received that yeah. the sensation of the like the warm feelings, you know, like home, like yes. security, the comfort, you know, yes. yeah, it, exactly. Yeah. And another thing that is amusing, actually, in that is a theory of mine that <laughs> actually I, 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 the first time I used that was in my chakra album, you know, and I started to notice that a lot of like amazing feedbacks about that specific track. So I was, yeah, like trying to remember what I did in that track. Oh, man, yeah. this is something about the Marco Rodin's fingerprint of God, you know, something like mathematical uh, pattern, you know, in the beat Absolutely. answer, the yes. syncopation. Exactly. Yeah. So that's what I'm using, like, like the opposite of the, the energy in the universe. It's something in the Marco Rodin's, you know, mathematical uh -huh. or fingerprint of God. So that's what yeah. I, I'm using. And I was really, really like hoping that this is, was my, my life wish, that this works, that really works. And I yeah. believe now that it works because it's in harmony with the universe, you know? 
it's har Absolutely. in harmony with the numerology. It's in harmony with the golden ratio, and we can talk later about all of this, you know. So right. that is something is I can't believe that actually. <laughs> you don't know how it's how amazing. Much it has to right now. <laughs> it's amazing to me because I've been looking for something to just push him into the into that knowing, into the understanding. And like I said, it was the first time and I was blown away. I was completely, I was just like, oh my goodness. So now I ask him when he would like to do his, we call it tations, his meditations. And I, and he will lay down quietly and he goes through the entire track with no issues. No, he doesn't even want a timer on. He just yeah. wants to sit with it. How often know, does anyway. he sit with the music? You no. Know, um, yeah, I try yeah, to do exactly. it as much as possible. So okay. it's been about three times a week so far. Okay. Nice. He's not, when he's, uh, you know, he's, I've also got him on um, <laughs> uh, some um, in. And so oh. his, his energy level went from him, you know, because he's like, and I'm just yeah. with brain activity. So, so yeah. Okay. I think we've talked about that too. I had sent you that picture of the, the, um, I had just come up or realized that that helped also. Yeah. And that, yeah, you know, I think, I yeah, we were all in a, in yeah. connection with yeah you did send me um you sent me a couple of things uh with the the paper um yeah. from that book vivitar is i've used the essential yeah. oils before and and i i have to i have to reference that because that needs to be on my list of things that i want to obtain for him but he does i give him a smell of essential oils clary sage yeah. and lavender to help him relax Perfect. into the into the meditation yeah, that's and, amazing. You know, we turn out the lights and mm -hmm. he does the, the pull, you know. <laughs> he He's likes so lamps. He knows exactly what to do. He shows you he how does. to do. Mom, it's, it's like this. I know. <laughs> it's mm. like this. He's so connected to the spiritual world oh, it's, it's, it's just an amazing little human i love him he answers things it just out of nowhere he'll just and i'm like okay i get it okay yeah. i'm listening yeah he's he's my divine so, so so interesting that you mentioned something about the nutrition the food oh yes you know? oh it has everything to do because, with yeah, because in autism, like yeah. in science and the experiments, you know, like scientists used to say that there's a virus in the DNA, okay, mm -hmm. which is attacking the nervous system and the immune system of the body, okay? Mm -hmm. And this is inactive and it's going active when you have more levels, high levels of mercury and aluminum. Mm -hmm in your so it's it's a poison yeah. you know so that's what is activating each other and damage the nervous system and especially yeah. going to the front lobe or the prefrontal lobe cortex and make it yeah. produce or they they found in the experiment that the autism brain have more cells more nervous cells than the normal children brains you, you yeah. see so yeah. it's, there's, there's a part of it in the science, you know, the diagnosis of that. They talk about the chemicals that there is a virus in the DNA has been now activated because of the mercury and the aluminum. So now you're talking about something so interesting, which is detoxing, you know, essential oh, oils. Oh, absolutely. All, all of I this. I have, yeah, I have, um, I have put Gavin through a, um, a parasitic detox, a heavy metals detox. When I did the heavy metal detox, his body broke out into a full that rash. Was just, I have was pictures it? of it. It was insane. Was it? Now when I give oh. him, uh, no, no, this was years ago. Um, but I noticed that when I give him that same detox, because I do periodically give it to him, um, I just incorporated it again in his, in his system. 
when I do that, he doesn't break out. He just becomes a little more imbalanced. I notice he starts to use the restroom a little better, you know, because what it does is it removes the, the PUFAs, the, the BPAs, the heavy metals all in the liver. So, and it's for children. So it releases all of that. Yeah. And I give yeah. him raw um, cilantro in his shakes occasionally, but I don't, like I said, I, I don't overload him. So I do little bits at a time because he's still a little, you know, and little bits at a time. And then that way he doesn't experience any die off and any flu symptoms. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. something else I want to just mention, actually it's for me, it's the most important thing in the whole process, the spiritual and the scientific or whatever it is, you know, is the intentions. Mm -hmm. Because if we dig deep into intentions and try to, okay, what is intention? You know, mm -hmm. intention is a thought, okay, mm -hmm. plus emotion. Mm -hmm. So both of them is resonating at a certain frequency. So this frequency is going to at Attract the same frequency and resonate with the same frequency. So whatever your intention are, your <laughs> intentions are you're going exactly. You're going just to attract what you're, what you are. You attract what you are. You know. Mm -hmm. So when you put intentions, it's an energy. It's an energy code. It's an energy like field. So you. I'm, I was using, trying actually to use that also to add this into this equation, you know, to add this energy into the work, yes. you know, because yeah. there are there are receptors in the human body. A lot of scientists they don't talk about it, you know. They don't talk about the spiritual work, actually. You know? Right. They deny the, right. Uh, exactly. They deny the soul. Yeah. They just talk <laughs> about the body as it's like just only that biological machine or what? Yes. A skin suit. You know? Yes. <laughs> it's, it's in the, like in 2023, I think it's way strange to keep doing that, you know? Right. Like there are a lot of things are so beneficial and the ancients were, were doing all of this. This is an ancient knowledge, you know? Yeah. And there are a lot of researchers. So actually, Sonia, I'm so glad I'm so pleased and I, I really appreciate your trust and thank you for your trust. And no, thank you. It's no, no amazing. More words. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say, actually. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'm sending you the peace you. and love for you and Gavin and Bonnie. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much as well. And I, I'm so grateful. We're going to continue using it. I'll keep you updated. Yay. Yeah, please. Yeah. Please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>